Hello, sweet souls. Happy buck full moon. It was at 617 Eastern time this morning. So um, I did want to do a full moon reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit. Angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good for this buck full moon. Um, and I also, for a while now, I, I get people asking me, how do I love myself? So the second video today, I'm going to go into um, how to love yourself. That's going to be part of the, the reading. So if you struggle with that, um, make sure you look out for that second reading. All right. For this buck full moon, Holy Spirit, what does the collective that's watching this video need to know? What do they need to be aware of? For this buck full moon, truth and only truth. For the buck full moon, please. Truth and only truth. <laughs> For the buck full moon, please. Wow. I love it. Okay, so... I was here and heeding the call. I'm not going to lie. That's what I was here and heeding the call. First card out is message in a bottle. This can be a message from the spiritual realm, a message from someone in the physical realm, but it's tied into your fate and destiny. And that's why I heard heeding the call. Um, so you're getting some sort of clarity, a download, some sort of um, guidance, you know, a redirection on a path that you, you're meant to be on with new life. You're stepping into this new life energy. This is like the fool, and the fool is at the at the end of the deck. There is a lot of peace being restored in your life. That's the change that's occurring. If you've been going through a lot of turmoil, uh, chaos, conflict, that's about to change. Like I said, the bottom of the deck is the fool. Come to the edge. A new path is being prepared for you. Divine timing has been at play, but it's going to bring in happiness, rebuilding your life, building a stable foundation. So with this full moon it's bringing in new beginnings. That's what I'm seeing. It's bringing in new beginnings. All right. Let's get some clarifications. And, you know, I want you to remember that before you go on a new journey, before you go on a brand new leap of faith, for, <clears throat> sorry, some of you, <clears throat> the past will return. Um, and this will be permitted in order to test you. Have you learned your lesson? Are you going to settle for less? Um, or are you going to keep going on the path that, that God's guiding you on? All right. Message in a bottle. Wow. Look at this. So... Like I said, for many of you, this is spiritual realm communicating with you. This message is you getting clarity on your path and purpose. You getting clarity on what it is you're, you're meant to take action upon. And then we see <laughs> this has to do with divine love. Ten of cups. You know, calling in a partnership. For example, God may be calling you to move to a certain location. You have no idea why. Maybe you don't even know anyone at that location. But God knows that that is where you will meet your divine partner. So be open to whatever downloads, dreams, signs that you're getting and pray about it because you're definitely being guided because you are meant to have this, this partnership here. You definitely are. All right. Yeah. And look, the enemy is trying to thwart it. The enemy is trying to interfere. All right. Holy Spirit, please clarify the fates. Hold on one second, guys. Please clarify the fates. Yeah, I was hearing God. God is giving you perfect clarity on your destined path. <clears throat> Rely on your own discernment. Rely on the downloads, the feelings that you're getting. You have the answer. God's giving you the answer, okay? So you're not going to miss it. You don't have to worry. God's giving you perfect clarity. All right. Please clarify new life. Please clarify a new life. Yeah, I was just hearing, believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. Some of you may not believe it's possible, 
just to go with the theme of relocation. You may not believe it's possible that you would have the funds to relocate or that you would get another job in a different area. You may not think it's possible. With this new life energy, good news is coming. This is faded for you. So believe in the impossible. Wow. Okay. Please clarify peace. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. The change that's occurring is peace is about to be restored. <clears throat> now, if you didn't have peace because you, you have not had a romantic partnership, no one that's high vibrational come in, that could be the peace that's being restored, peace in a relationship. If you've had no peace because finances have been an issue for you, that's the change that's happening. Because what I'm seeing for the Empress energy, which is all of you, whether you're a man or a woman, you are this creator and you're a creator for God. Okay. And so the peace, the change that's happening is stability or a new divine union. I mean, you guys, I'm showing you the cards. They are the most beautiful cards I, I think I've ever had in a reading. I mean, they're beautiful. It's amazing. You're finally going to drop the burden. Finally going to be able to drop that burden. All right, come to the edge. Okay, come to the edge. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. Definitely answering the call. This brand new leap of faith, you are this leader. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're the, in the Queen of Wands energy. You are a true leader. You're being inspired at this time to take action. It's spiritually led and it's, you're being guided straight toward victory because it's your destined path. <coughs> Yeah, and there's that communication. We end with the communication. Wow. Okay, guys. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Um, let's clarify messages. One second, guys. All right. You are receiving instructions, <laughs> guidance from the spiritual realm. This is looking to me with the high priestess here, like a download, an inner knowing, a prophetic dream, whatever this message is, it is giving you clarity on your path and you're being led toward the 10 of cups to the ace of cups, a, an emotionally fulfilling divine love partnership or union. Please clarify messages. Holy spirit. Please clarify messages. Oops. Yeah. They want you to know that whatever you've experienced in the past that made you feel stuck or stagnant, wherever there was confusion or illusion, this redirection for you, you know, this these downloads, this clarity that's coming in, that's guiding you on a new path is your justice. Justice is, is being served. Those scales are being balanced. You know, they don't want you to worry. They just want you to be open to the changes that are occurring because these are divinely guided. All right. With the fates, we can see God bringing in perfect clarity, truth, victory. Please clarify the fates. Yeah. You know, in the high priestess of the three of cups, you are celebrating that you did rely on your intuition. You did listen to your intuition. You stepped into your fate and destiny or you're actively doing this and you're celebrating that you did listen. That's what I'm really getting. All right. New life. Good news. You're being aligned with your fate and destiny. This is a new beginning for you. It's divinely guided. New life. Yeah. Victory, success, public recognition, you being seen for who you are. Yeah. A master manifester. Having the ability to manifest the life that you desire. What's in alignment with your fate and destiny. Um, with peace, 
the change that's occurring is peace is being restored, whether in a union or by yourself. You are a creator. You are meant to create for God, and peace is definitely being restored. Please clarify peace. Wow. Peace. Wow. You are in this loving, kind, empathetic energy. You are loving yourself. You are loving others. You are setting boundaries. And your peace is causing someone to feel trapped, stuck, overthinking. This is someone that worked with a community of people and this devil energy to try to stop you. Yeah, they wanted you out in the cold. But you see, when God has a plan for you, it doesn't matter who is against you in the earthly realm or any other realm. When God has a plan for your life and you are surrendering and submitting to that plan, no one can interfere with it. Tell me about this devil energy. It's blocked. Like I said, no one can interfere, not only with your destiny, but with your divine partnerships, King to the Queen of Cups. No one can interfere what God has planned for you. All right, come to the edge. We have you a true leader, following spiritual guidance, being led to victory. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. What is that? The chariot. <laughs> Double confirmation. God is saying, follow me and I will, I will lead you straight to your stability, to twin flame soulmate unions. Follow me, Empress, whether you're a man or a woman, follow me. I will show you. I'll show you the way. That's beautiful. I will open doors that no man can close. God, I will open doors for you that no man can close. No being can close. Because you trusted in me. That's beautiful. You guys, this is the most, look at this, God guiding you towards your legacy, towards your divine partner and your legacy. Generational wealth, building a legacy. That's amazing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's see. You guys, I got to turn my fan on now. Sorry, Lancy. I'm sorry, Lancy. All right, guys, let's see. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I love this reading. God is so good. It's hard, you know, when we go through struggles. We go through suffering. We just think that God has abandoned us. God doesn't abandon us. There are certain experiences we have to go through in order to learn what we need to learn. And with every lesson... You know, there is there is pain attached to it. That's just the way it is. If, if there wasn't, we wouldn't remember. We'd keep repeating it over and over and over again. You know? I mean, look how many times in the past you've stayed in a toxic relationship because that's what made you feel comfortable. You just stayed in it. So, all right, guys, let's see. With a message in a bottle, you, you're listening to your intuition and you're getting downloads. This information is guiding you toward everlasting joy, happiness, divine love. You know, whoever caused you stuck to be stuck or stagnant and whoever created illusions, justice is playing out now. Those scales are being balanced. Message in a bottle, please. Wow. Hold on. Manifesting your desires. Timing one month, a change in direction. Set your intentions. A new cycle begins. Don't give up. Yeah, you're manifesting your desires. That's beautiful. Now, this can be linked to what you have been manifesting. And you're getting enlightenment about it now with the fates. God's giving you perfect clarity. You will be celebrating that you trusted your intuition. You're going to celebrate that you listen to God's guidance. Fates. Please clarify the fates. A lot of moon cards. Making progress. One to two weeks. It says shifting consciousness, gaining strength, final steps, and increase. Wow. Yeah, it's like they're giving me the feeling of once you've surrendered to something, you feel like somebody just took a 100-pound weight off of your back. That's the energy I feel, like uh, a release. 
like finally I trusted, I got it right. I'm connecting all the dots and I can release this burden, whatever that burden was to you in the past. Um, with new life, the good news is you're being aligned with your fate and destiny. Um, this leads to victory, success, public recognition. You are a master manifester, high vibrational. You have the ability to manifest your desires. All right, please clarify new life. Please clarify new life. Yeah, okay, so... The good news is you have a king of pentacles that's coming in. This is someone that's very grounded and stable. They don't have to be that sign. This is just a very creative energy. Then we can see you have, for some of you, a king of wands energy that you are putting your boundaries up with. God is also protecting you from this person. That's that energy of somebody wanting to maybe communicate or come back in. And um, it's a test is what it is. It's a test. Yeah, and you're the high priestess to the empress. You already know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Which, actually, whenever you're listening to a reading, it should resonate for you. You should check in with your own discernment to know if this is message for you, right? Don't just believe every reading you see. Even my readings, you need to listen to your own intuition. You need to pray about the messages because they're not for everyone, okay? Um, with peace... The changes occurring is peace is being restored in your life. You are this empress. You are this creative, creative energy. Um, and I see peace here in the form of stability or divine union. You are this loving, kind, empathetic energy. And we see that someone is stuck. They're trapped, um, overthinking and stressed out. They worked with a group of people in this devil energy to try to interfere with your life, with your destiny. And like I told you, what God has planned for you, no man can interfere with. No man can take away. And with the two of swords, this person's blocked. Peace. Wow, they just flying out. Yeah, look. Knight of Cups to the Emperor. This is someone that is a father figure, could have Aries placement. This is someone that's noncommittal. They, they pretend, um, but they don't deliver. This is someone that pretends to be a true leader, but they don't deliver. They're non-committal. This is someone that has a blocked intuition, but they're also very deceptive. This person um, that's coming back to test you, they're not who they say they are. They're not who they present to you. It's false. It's false. Yeah, see, this person is in competition with you. This person is jealous of you. This person wants to interfere with what is happening in your life. All right. With come to the edge, God is, is opening a new door that no man can close. You are a true leader. It's spiritually led, but it leads to victory. Victory twice, chariot twice, a lot of movement that brings in stability. Twin flame soulmate, new doors opening up. The fool out here twice, the chariot out here twice. That's pretty amazing. 18, 18 on my timer. Come to the edge, please. Come to the edge, please. Yeah. You know, this is you. With come to the edge, finally releasing the stress and anxiety, pain, regret, um, and, an aban and abandoning a past situation. You finally just releasing it physically, spiritually, emotionally, so that you can call in new love with the lovers. You can embrace new love, a new cycle beginning, one that's healed, one that you're in your highest vibration. That's beautiful. <laughs> and if we look at the cards on the bottom of the deck, God is bringing in quickly new love. <laughs> I love that. All right, guys. Let's see what else we get. I definitely want to do the um, moonology and see what we get with the moonology. Give me one second to clear my space. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your love, your support, your donations, your comments. Although I have not been interacting as much lately, I do read them. And I am grateful um, to all of you. Um, I know my videos are, have not been circulating as much. 
So if you know anyone that could benefit from the messages, please forward them uh, to whoever you believe will benefit from the messages. You know, I don't, I still haven't figured out the algorithm of YouTube. I have no idea how it works. All I know is I'm called to put out messages and I do it. All right. For the collective, for this buck full moon for July 21st. Now, this reading will be whenever you find it. I don't know if I already made my announcements. If you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I am um, accepting a limited amount each week. So schedule sooner than later. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. All right, let's see. I haven't looked at the cards, so I don't know. We'll see what comes out. All right. Uh, we got conclusions are within reach. If you've been struggling um, with releasing something from the past or if you've been struggling with anything from the past, they're saying those conclusions are within reach. They don't want you to let your past hold you back. Like I said, the past will return to test you. It was time for you to move in a new direction. You are not aligned with a past person. For most of you, you don't resonate with their energy or their belief system or who they are. You are well aware of all that has occurred and what has been done to you without, for most of you, without accountability. You're aware of this. Remember that. Look at that. Your commitment is being tested. And I didn't even see that. Your commitment is being tested. And it's a time for you to take action. Take action on your goals, your dreams. What is fated for you, right? The answers you need are coming. You're going to get the clarity. We saw that in the reading. You're going to get the clarity that you need. You know, just go with the flow. Overcome your fear, you know, of doing things differently. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Overcome that fear and surrender. Yeah, a time for healing. I feel like for many of you, that's what you've been doing is healing. Whoops. Adjustments are required. So for some of you, the spiritual realm, God, the angels and saints are calling you to make some sort of adjustment. If you're still communicating, you still have people in your energy that are lower vibrational, God may be asking you to end that communication. Yeah, it's time to release ne negativity. That's exactly what I'm getting. You know, he may be saying, look, you cannot continue to be in the presence of this energy, whether it's through texting, um, calls, emails. It's time to surrender to the divine. Surrender everything because a new start is coming. A new start is coming. All right. Let's see, guys. All right. Let's do the... I will do the Celtic Cross again tomorrow. I haven't... I'm not getting rid of the Celtic Cross. I just... Um, Wanted to do it a little different for the full moon. All right, for the collective, for the full moon, what do they need to know? Trust in the unknown. Trust God. Trust where God's leading you, okay? Trust where he's leading you. He knows what's best because he, he knows the past, the present, and the future. You can't go wrong trusting in God. Dream and journey, yeah. This is a new path that you've only dreamed of. That's what they just said. A new path you've only dreamed of. They want you to set your sights higher. You know, set your sights higher for what it is you want to call into your reality. And be graceful in movement and action. Stay private. Stay private. Because, of course, there are always, from the beginning of time, there is always going to be jealous people, envious people that want to interfere. I mean, that's never going to change until, until it does. <laughs> Until something massive happens. Yeah. You are medicine mother. This to me feels like the high priestess enter energy. Honor your inner knowing. You have all the answers within you. You truly do. You know, anytime you're getting a reading, it should be to validate. Not, not to give you an information that is way off left field. Any time you get a reading from anyone it should be to just validate what you already know because we hold the answers inside of us wow let's see love and let yourself be loved open the heart okay let that heart chakra 
be spread wide open. Take time to reflect. Reflect on, <coughs> excuse me, reflect on, on what you want. Reflect on what brings you peace, peacekeeper, and reflect. You know, if, if there is no peace, if you've had no peace in a situation, whether it's um, a family dynamic, a friendship, or a, or a romantic partner, that's your answer. If there's been no peace, no. Look what we got. Track down your fears and desires. I think I talked about that. You know, overcoming your fears. Taking that risk, that leap of faith where God's guiding you. Be open to healing information. Um, this is earth energy. Make sure you're getting grounded. Make sure you're doing like, you know, your salt baths, your cleansing baths. Make sure you're going out in nature. But be open to healing information because you are receiving that information. Hold this space, okay? Be patient on the Lord. Be in a high vibration. Be in a space of love and gratitude and be open. For many of you, you are light workers. You are the light, okay? You are meant to, sh to spread love and light to this world at this exact moment. When God wakes you up, um, that's what you're meant to do. All right, let's see. Truth and only truth for the collective. What advice do you have for, for the collective for this new moon, or sorry, full moon energy? Advice for the collective. Yep. You're being called into service. Stay strong and be a guiding light. Yeah. You're being called to enter your purpose and your path. You know, they're saying this is your destiny. They want you to stay strong and be that guiding light. Ground yourself and be love. Vibrate in the energy of love. We have two fives. Five and 14 reduces to a five. That's change. The past no longer holds power over you. Dissolve attachments from the past. It's over. You know, don't allow anything from the past to hold you back from your new beginning. This is a new beginning for you. Look, the way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. The way is clear. That is spiritual realm. Ascended masters are helping you. The bottom of the deck says it's time for you to do it differently. Going beyond what you have done before. Yeah, and look underneath that. Following the path of another, your path is being redirected to where it should be. Which falls into a perfect alignment with the reading. Perfect alignment with the reading. All right. Let's do the Cancerian Oracle for this full moon, buck full moon. And the moon energy lasts three days after. So if you do anything for manifesting. All right. For the collective. Okay, we have a timeline of months from now. Uh, there are some changes that are occurring. They want you to stop overthinking and they want you to say no uh, to anything from the past. Okay? Just say no. Because you're being guided towards your abundance. And we did see that in the reading. Um, you know, just because somebody that, that tried to destroy you, destroy your relationship, throw you under the bus, destroy your reputation, now that you are being aligned with your destiny, which includes financial resources, somebody from the past wants to come back in and reap reward. No. Spiritual realm is saying absolutely not. No. Yeah. See, they're going through, going to go through a tower moment. When your abundance lands in your lap, this person is going to go through a tower moment. Yeah. You see, you're gifted and you've been trusting your gut. You've been trusting God's guidance. You're protected and you're doing what you love. So that's keeping you in an abundant energy. They're saying there's no need for you to worry. Just take a break. Everything will work out for you. Yeah, it's your destiny. Like I said, it's your destined path. It's meant to be, so have faith and believe. It's one step at a time. You know, in these hu human bodies, we're so impatient. You know, we're like, we expect God to say, okay, your, your purpose is X, Y, Z, and one day and the next day, boom, we're in it and we're making a million dollars. I mean, that it that's not realistic, but that's how the human mind works. But 
just be patient and know that everything is aligning exactly the way it's meant to. They don't want you to worry. Let's see with a romance oracle for this uh, buck full moon uh, what we need to know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What romantic advice do you have for this buck full moon for the collective? What romantic advice do you have? What do they need to know? Wow. Just hit the camera. Romantic advice. Wow. I love it. All right. So the first card out is look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Your new divine partner, if you haven't met them, they're already manifesting you. They're in your energy. Then we got new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. This is a new beginning. And then we got freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. You're free. And then friendship. I feel like for many of you, you're going to meet this person and we'll be friends with them first. Um, and then that will, it will lead to more. Uh, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel like this is the person that's coming in. They will be a friend first to you. All right. Is there anything else we need to know? Let's get some from this deck, from my deck, and see what we get for this buck full moon. What does the collective need to be aware of? That came out quick. The buck full moon. For some of you, you've been manifesting a new home, and it's here. That's beautiful. And when this happens, somebody is going to go through the dark night of the soul. Um, you have a success, abundance, and stability headed your way, which came out in the reading, um, which is pretty amazing. But someone here is going to go through the dark night of the soul. You know, I do see a false feminine in your energy. This is somebody that's very low vibrational. They tried to interfere with the blessings that are coming in for you, but you're worthy. Um, continue to make those I am statements. And this person is going to go through an ego death. Whoever this karmic feminine is, they want you to make a wish and know that a wish is being granted for you. Look, it's a divine union. For those of you that have not come into union, the wish that's being granted is a divine union. And that did come out in the reading as well. Thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, look, it's happening in the near future. For, for many of you, it's happening in the near future. So make sure you're doing your healing work, okay? Make sure you're releasing. Yeah, see, look, we're seeing a, a spiritual hater and a player that is attached to karmic family members. Now, this can be your karmic family members or theirs. They've done everything to try to block your stability, there, there could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but I'm getting the energy. They tried to block an earth sign because it's on the fence. This was through fraud, fraudulent activity and illegal practices. It could be a karmic couple. Tell me about this fraudulent activity. We have water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be you or someone involved in fraudulent activity. They want you to continue to manifest your life's desire. This means nothing. Whatever they're trying to do is going back. It doesn't have any impact on you. Yeah, see, the toxic friends, they're all being blocked. They're being blocked. Deception, betrayal, and lies, it's all being blocked. It's being returned. Y yeah, you have the Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, and emotional fulfillment. That's what's happening for you. This fell right over this card. That's what's happening for you. They want you to continue to get connected. They want you to continue to pray, meditate, because you're being guided toward your destiny, your destined path. You are a healer. You are a light worker. All right. What do they need to be aware of? Yeah, whoever has been trying to create toxicity in your workspace, that's what they said to me. It says toxic workspace. But what they said to me is this person tried, 
has tried to interfere with what you do for work. This person could be making fake accounts and putting comments on your page, but St. Michael is here. Archangel Michael, protecting you, okay? Protecting you. So you don't have to worry. Yeah, look, it's all going back. The slander, spreading lies and hate is all being returned. St. Michael is returning it. You guys, I don't know if you guys are doing return to sender, but that's what it looks like. It's all going back. They're going to end up with, with spiritual sickness or disease. Some of them could lose their job and have legal issues. They want you to continue to cleanse your space, cleanse your, your vessel. Um, just do your spiritual practices and pray. Yeah. This was a, a masculine that should have been a, a divine masculine. It fell from grace that's trapped. Remember, it came out in the reading. But you have your ancestors that are protecting you. You're being asked just to let go of the past. It doesn't serve you, and it can't go with you. Okay? These people are fake. Your ancestors are trying to get a message through. Don't trust these energies. Some of them could have spiritual disease, STDs. You're an earth angel. Call on your guides for, for guidance, for clarification, and believe in miracles. You know, God's wrath is, is over, and judgment is over this karmic couple. God's wrath. All right, guys. This is your first reading. I love you guys. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.